Plants in the morning, plants in the evening, plants at supper time. When you watch happy green plants, you can watch plants anytime. I think that one's it, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Sarah. Today I'm outside because it's almost spring and everything's about to start blooming and growing and it's so exciting. But before then, we need to get some late winter checklist items done. So let's go. Getting the greenhouse done was a big project. And when we finished that, we were able to start our seeds. And then I got a delivery from the Arbor Day Foundation with all these bare root trees, 12 of them. And I don't really know where I wanna put them. So I've put them here as a temporary solution. I've planted them about two and a half feet apart. I'm gonna take real good care of them. And then one day when they actually look like trees and not twigs, I will plant them in their permanent spots. But y'all, look at these little babies right here. I mean, that don't look like a tree. It looks like, it looks like a twig. So once they actually look like trees and I have a better idea of where I want to put them, I will plant them. But until now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna baby them. So for trees that I've planted last year, I'm going around and I am pruning them. Any branches that are crossing one another, you want to clip them off because you don't want them rubbing. That's not good for the older adult tree that it's growing up to be. And then I'm also clipping off any offshoots towards the bottom that I don't want there. So I can't really tell, they're, so, they're such babies right now, I can't really tell what kind of shape they're gonna be taking, but I'm doing my best to shape them the way that I want them. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mulch those trees just like I did my bare root trees because it's protecting them as well. I will fertilize them this year. I didn't fertilize them last year when I first planted them, but I will fertilize them this year. Very happy about the greenhouse project that we took on. My husband, I say we, my husband built me a greenhouse and I love it. I love it so much. And I am excited about my extended growing season. Greenhouse is done. Time to start the seeds. This is our first year to start seeds indoors. Pretty easy process though. <laughs> I'm saying that it's easy. I don't know if it worked yet, but it was super easy. You don't wanna use regular potting mix or anything when you're starting seeds. There is some seed starting mix that you'll wanna get. We mixed up some water with it in a big bowl and then basically spatula spatula speckled speckled it into the into the seed trays that we got at the store and then we put two to three seeds in each one of the cells then pressed it in and then lightly covered it with some more of that same soil that we planted it in and then sprayed it lightly and we are covering it up with the plastic top that came with it and now we wait check on your seeds every single day keeping that soil moist as soon as they sprout we will take the lid off and we'll get them some sunlight they don't need sunlight right now but they will when we get some little leaves on them so we're building a whole homestead out there by our greenhouse and i love it i love my greenhouse and we moved the chicken coop out there and i plan to build some more of this chicken tunnel that i got going on around my garden. I'm, the idea is they're going to help me with the bugs that's in my, my flower beds that are the in my garden bed. They'll eat the bugs there. So that's good. And of course, eggs. I'm going to get some more chickens, although I am terrified of these beasts. We're going to get more. It's for our rooster. He needs more ladies because he is not letting those two girls rest. We're also building the goat pen out there. So really excited about everything that's going on right now. Also, they are coming. They are coming. The hummingbirds are coming. So I am gonna go ahead and put out some food for them. It's really easy to make some hummingbird nectar. You make it at home. You just wanna put a fourth of sugar to water. So if I'm using a cup of water, I'm just going to use a fourth a cup of sugar. And that is perfect 
for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that out. When they come here in March, they will have some food there. It may take a little bit for them to find it, but when they do, they'll be so happy with me. That's it, that's my video. I hope you were able to learn something from my checklist that I do late winter, getting ready for spring, the best time of year, cause that's when stuff is growing and there's so much to do outside and inside and it's gonna be great. I am excited cause I'm going to Colorado next week and I'm going to film some happy green plants while I'm there. It's gonna be plants that are not, that are maybe some different than what I'm used to in my zone eight. So I will see y'all uh, then, bye. We need a doorknob.